Now to developing news out of Haiti, where at least 304 people are dead after a 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck Saturday morning. Western Mass News reporter Amanda Callahan joins us live in studio with the latest. Amanda? Bree, the U.S. Geological Survey is estimating high casualties and widespread disaster. And this morning, the search for survivors is on. In addition to the 304 people that were killed, more than 1,800 were injured. The head of the United States Agency for International Development has authorized the deployment of a disaster assistance response team to help with the recovery efforts. Yesterday, the Haitian president toured the quake zone by plane and took photos of the devastation. And right now, healthcare workers from Cuba are helping victims. Now, this earthquake comes 11 years after a catastrophic magnitude 7.0 quake struck the country, leaving hundreds of thousands of people dead. That earthquake hitting along the same fault lines as this most recent one. Saturday's earthquake initially prompted a tsunami threat, but not long after the warning, the U.S. tsunami warning system canceled that alert. Now, aftershocks are a concern for Haiti as emergency crews work to assess the damage. We will, of course, continue to follow the latest developments. Live in studio, Amanda Callahan, Western Mass News.